Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, that means that you picked a neon sign for your trash can treasure box. Let's take a look, see what you got in your box. All right guys, let's take a look and see what we got in our box. You should have some paper, dark on one side, light on the other, a piece of plexiglass with some curious holes poked all the way through it, you should have um, oh, a strange wire, a battery pack for your wire with batteries inside, and then um, some copper pins to hold it in place. We'll get to those later. We're going to start out with our plexiglass and we're going to cover it in glue. Then you can pick if you want the dark side of your paper or the light side of your paper, and you're going to glue that onto your plexiglass. I chose the dark side, and um, so I put the dark side face down onto that glue. Um, look and see where your holes are because you want to make sure that you go ahead and poke those all the way through that paper once it's dried. You can kind of see it easier on the lighter side here. Use a pen, use a pencil, um, a bobby pin, and, and poke those all the way through because we are going to need those to hold our EL wire in place. Um, you should have a long string of wire one end will have a black electrical conduit on it, and the other end has a little plastic tip that you can cut off. We're not going to need that guy. Now, on your plexiglass, I want you to find there are two holes close together and close to an edge. They're a little bit bigger than all the other holes. They're going to look like that. The one that is not the most bottom, but the, the second lowest hole, the one that's a little higher than the other one, we're going to take our EL wire and from the back, we're going to feed it through to the front and go ahead and pull it all the way through, all the way up to that black wrapped part of the wire at the end. There we go. Go ahead and make sure you've got it all the way to that black tip. And we are going to put our wire in the shape of a thunderbolt. So if you look on your instructions, you can kind of see the shape that we're going for. And we're coming from the bottom to do a short diagonal up to the right hand side. So find the hole that's all the way over to the right. And you're gonna pull your wire up to that hole, keeping it as flat as you can. It won't be completely flat and that's okay. And what we're gonna do is use these little copper pieces of wire. We're gonna fold them in half you're going to leave a little bit of a loop shape at the top because it has to fit over your EL wire. And then those two pokey ends are going to go through the hole in your plexiglass and through your paper. So you've got it around the EL wire and then pull it up about to where that hole is and push both ends through. They will both fit. It may just take a little finagling and then pull it through as much as you can. And when you've got that through, you're gonna bend them to lay flat. That will secure that EL wire in place right where we want it. Now the next part of that lightning bolt um, is a hard turn back to the left. And there should be another hole just a little ways to the left from that one that we just used. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to grab a piece of that um, copper wire. And if you want to be smarter than me, you could have already bent all of your copper wire. <laughs> I did not do that, but that might not be a bad practice. Um, so I'm going to bend it in half. Again, I'm going to leave that loop shape towards the top so it will bend over my EL wire because the EL wire is round. And then I'm going to poke it through those holes to secure it in place where I want it to stay. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pull that through and then on the back side, I'm gonna lay those wires flat. You can twist it once and then lay it flat whatever you think is gonna make it the most secure because we don't want that EL wire to pull out. And then basically we are going to follow the shape of this and everywhere that there's a corner on that lightning bolt, there should be a hole in your plexiglass. 
and you just want to, again, try to make that EL wire lay as flat as it can to get to that hole where we'll use the copper to hold it in place. So we'll go ahead and trace the rest of those shapes. And when you have all of those done, you're gonna have something that looks a little bit like this. Now that very bottom hole, like I said, is a little bit larger than, than the other ones. And so we can pull the EL wire through from the front all the way to the back this time. So we'll go ahead and pull that through. And then you can use a piece of wire if you want to on the back side to secure them together. You can also use um, glue to hold down uh, the EL wire if you want it not to kind of bow up a little bit. I didn't do that because I have a tendency to glue my fingers to things when I use that kind of crazy glue, but if you have some, you certainly can. Um, just be careful not to glue your fingers to your beautiful neon light. Um, and then once it's secure in the back, like I said, you can use some wire to secure those together so it won't slip out to the front. Now we are going to take that uh, black piece, we're going to hook it up to our battery pack. So on the piece that's connected to your EL wire, you're going to see that there's a little clippy part that hangs off. We want that to be the top side, so twist it so that's facing up. And on the other side, you're going to find the two silver rectangular bits, and that's going to face down. So there'll be a little tiny clippy piece that's going to clip in to the clip on the other side. You'll actually hear it make a little noise when those secure together. And then when you push the button on your battery pack, it will turn on your neon sign. And it'll look a little something like this. So there you go, neon sign. All right, guys, thank you for following along. I hope that was enjoyable, and I hope to see you back next month for another Trash Panda Treasure.